So here we are on chapter six, doing all the P's and DP's. Question one then to begin with. Okay, so we have points QR, which is 11 and 12. So let's just give ourselves an axis to begin with, like that. Okay, and if we say something like 11, 12, there we are. Q and then we have a point that is minus five zero minus five zero that is point R and then the point P has coordinates thirteen six okay thirteen Six down here somewhere. Okay, so the line segment QR is the diameter of a circle which has center C. So we've got this as a line. Let's just have a slightly different color for that. Okay, and presumably somewhere in the middle of that is that's told as a diameter. So somewhere in here is C. Okay. Um, and the first thing we need to do is we need to find C. So C is just midpoint, okay? So midpoint of QR or RQ, okay? And you can see that for the X's, we go from minus five over to 11. So that's 16, so 16 over um, two, which gives us eight. And the 8 needs to be added onto the minus 5, giving us 13. Let me turn, yeah, 13. 8 added onto the minus 5, sorry, 3. Okay, so this point here for C is 3 on the x's. Okay, and on the y's, we can see that it goes from 0 up to 12. So that's 12 divided by 2. Okay, which is equal to 6, and if we add that on to the 0, we get 6. Okay, so 3, 6. There we are. Okay, so C is 3, 6. Done. Find the radius of the circle, so now we need to do the length of RC. So RC is equal to the square root, so from 5 to 3 is 8 squared plus 3 0 to 6 is 6 squared and the square root of all of that square root 8 squared plus 6 squared is 10 okay find the radius of the circle done write down the equation of the circle okay so, part C, the equation is um, x minus the x coordinate, which is 3 squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of 6 squared, equal to the radius squared. I think that'll do, unless they want to enter as equal to 100. But I'm sure the examiner will be happy with that. Okay, and now write show that P lies on the circle. So this point P needs to lie on the circle. And P, if you remember from the start of the question, was 13.6. So we can just put that in. So we can say that 13 minus 3 squared plus. 6 minus 6 squared equals 10 squared. So we end up with 10 squared plus 0 squared equals 10 squared if P is on the circle. Okay, question 1. Finished. 
Question two is a P question. So we'll go straight into that. Question two. It says show that zero zero lies inside this circle. Okay, so this circle has an equation of x minus five squared plus y plus two squared equals thirty. Okay. So it has a radius of the square root of thirty and it has a center of the circle of five minus two because it's the minus of it. Okay. So quick look at what we've got there. We've got five minus two. Okay, and the square root of 30 in terms of um, a decimal answer is 5.4. So we need to know whether or not, so to make this lie inside the circle, okay, we need to make sure that the line going from the center to the origin is less than the square root of 30 because the circle goes all the way out to the square root of 30, okay, which is about 5.47. Okay, so let's do the distances. So the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared is equal to the square root of 25 and 4, 29, which is definitely smaller than the square root of 30. Okay, question three to finish this video. Looks slightly long, but it's just broken up. Okay, so we have a circle with an equation, which is oops, x squared plus 3x plus y squared plus 6y equals 3x minus 2y minus 7. Okay, find the center and radius of the circle. So if we start to try and put this into a bit more of a standard form, so when I bring that plus there, we get an x squared, the 3x and the 3x cancel, the y squared plus y squared, this becomes 8y equals minus 7. Okay, the x squared is fine because we can do basically it's x minus 0 squared plus y minus plus 8. Uh, sorry, not plus 8, I need to half it. Plus 4. So when we multiply to squared, so when we multiply this out, we get y squared, we get plus 4y, plus 4y, that gives us the 8y. And then we do 4 times 4, which is 16, which we need to get rid of. So we need a minus 16, and it still equals minus 7. So this all comes down to x squared plus y plus 4 squared equal to 16 minus that, which is 9. Okay, so center of the circle is zero for the x's and minus four for the y's with a radius of the square root of nine, which is equal to three. So in terms of finding the intersections with the y axis, if we have a quick look at what we've just said here, it's got a center of zero, minus 4, so that's down here at minus 4, and it has a radius of 3, minus 1, and so we end up with a circle like this, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this would be minus 7. Okay, so in terms of the question, find the points where the circle 
intersection of the y-axis, it intersects the y-axis at 0, minus 1, and it also intersects the y-axis at 0, minus 7. So that's your part B. Final part, then, show that the circle does not intersect the y-axis. OK. Um, distance of center to origin is equal to minus 4. Radius is equal to 3. Therefore, Three is less than four, no crossing x axis. Okay.